This video is all about interpolation and extrapolation. This is something we briefly discussed in a previous lesson, but we're going to go into more detail in this lesson. When talking about interpolation, it says when you make a prediction within the data set. When we look at this scatter plot, you'll notice that we've got a lot of points that are clustered quite close together. And they range between heights of about 152 centimetres all the way up to about 187 centimetres. There's nothing really beyond the 187 centimetre mark. There's nothing over on this side here. So when we're talking about within the data set, we're talking about within this cluster here. And when we're talking about outside the data set, we're talking about points over here on the right outside the cluster of points or also it could be points over here on the left outside these cluster of points. So to give an example of interpolation, someone might say I'm 180 centimeters tall, what would my arm span be? So we would mark the 180 centimeter tall mark, we would go up to our line of best fit and then to the left and we would predict, this is just a prediction, that they would have an arm span of about 182 centimetres. So usually when we go within the data set, this is where the line of best fit exists. Usually, usually it's within the data set. When we go to extrapolation, an example of this might be, let's say someone has a height of 200 centimetres and we want to predict their arm span. You'll notice as we move up, there's no line of best fit here, and we're outside the data set. We're beyond where all these points are. So in this situation, we need to extend our line of best fit, and that's what extrapolation is all about. Extrapolation basically means to extend or to go outside the data set. So we take our line of best fit and we extend it up here, and now we can figure out our prediction. As we go across, it will probably meet about, let's say, 204 centimeters for our arm span. Now, interpolation can be used very effectively to predict values. And extrapolation can also be used effectively, but sometimes extrapolation can be inaccurate or misleading. And we're going to talk about that in the next video where we go over an example and we're going to show you how it can be inaccurate or misleading. Anyway, that concludes our video just introducing interpolation and extrapolation. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.